Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the sort transformation in Azure Data Factory. So, what is sort transformation? The sort transformation allow you to sort the incoming rows on the current data stream. You can choose individual column and sort them into the ascending or descending order. So, this is basically we can do the sorting based on the ascending order or the descending order of the incoming string inside the data flow so go to on the browser and we'll try to see in the practical so here let me go in the blob storage and here we are having this file which is the sales.csv file and this sales.csv file is having data for the sales so go to on the edit let me preview this so it has the data for the country india us and uk Sales order ID we could see it is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the ascending order. So what we want to do, we want to just reverse the order. So we just want to do the sorting on the SOID in the descending order. So let me go inside the Azure data factory. Here let me go in the data flow and try to add a new data flow. Now here we can call this data flow as sort transformation like this we need to add the source so we can click on this and after that here we can go and need to select the data set so as we have already created the data set so we can select that one so that is data set sales data now let me try to open so we can verify that it is going to point the same file as we can see under the SSU testing under the input folder we can see the sales.csv file so this is pointing the same file now after this we can go in the data preview and we need to check the data so for checking that we should be enabling this data flow debug option so we can click on this button and after that we can click on ok so your cluster is going to ready so you should be able to see the data so it is in progress now now here we can see data debug option is on now we can see this refresh button so we can click on that so we should be able to see the source data here so here as we can see the data now let me try to use the sort transformation so here we can see this plus symbol so we need to click on this plus symbol and after that here either we can search for the sort transformation or we can scroll down little bit and under the row modifier we can see this sort so let me select that sort one and after that here we can see the output stream name so that will be the sort one incoming streaming name so that is the source one now here we can see the option so the first option for the case insensitive and second option for the case sensitive so if we are going to select this checkbox so it will be going to treat as case insensitive option now here we can see the sort condition so sort condition means on which column we want to do the sorting so let me try to select the soid and the order that should be descending order so we can select that one here we can see the nulls first if we are having any soid value as null so that row should come first let me go in the data preview and try to see the data so this should be have the sorted data in the descending order of the SOID. So it will be going to start from 6 and then up to 1 as we can see. The first which is the 6 and going forward we have 1. Now instead of doing the sorting on the SOID, let me try to do the sorting based on the country first and after that based on the SOID. So this is the sorting based on the multiple columns like more than one column. Let me go in the sort setting again and here first we want to do the sorting based on the country column. So let me search for the country and select that one. So that will be in the descending order or the ascending order we can do that. So let me select the ascending order. If we are having more than one columns that we want to use in the sorting then we can see this plus symbol so we have to click on this plus symbol to add another column value here so that column value will be on the soid and that should be on the descending order maybe now let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it 
so here as we can see it is sorted based on the country first so india india is coming twice here and then uk and then us similarly we can see the soids so soid in the descending order so that's why we can see two then one then six then five so similarly we can see that so if we are having more than two then we can go in the sort setting and here we can click on this plus symbol so it will add another column here so this is all about the sort transformation inside the azure data factory in the data flows so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video